think this is the worst flip that I've ever inspected. I get the question in the comments a lot. Has there ever been a house that has been so bad and you felt so unsafe that you just didn't do the inspection or you just left? This inspection was one of those places where I didn't even want to be in the house. Just to give you a little heads up, little preface. When I walked into the utility room of this house, I could smell propane. And when I looked down at the propane line coming in from the outside, I can see blue painter's tape wrapped around the propane plumbing trying to stop a leak. When I asked the seller if the range worked, because when I turned it on, it didn't ignite, he walked over with a torch and said, we light it with a torch. And I'm thinking to myself, I can smell propane in the house, and he's just about to light up a torch. And I'm like, no, sir, no, don't light that. So at this point, like, I'm ready to get out of the house. I walk in, and I'm looking at the furnace, and right in front of the furnace, three inches away from the furnace, is a plastic container, like tank, full of heating oil or diesel fuel. And they've just got the line to the burner, the furnace, just dropped right into this tank. As I looked down at the furnace, I could see carbon deposits all over it and areas of of soot and discoloration. So I could tell that the furnace wasn't operating properly. And I'm looking up and there's Romex running through metal studs with the knockouts with no plastic bushings or anything. And I'm just like, oh Lord, this place is so unsafe. So watch this video. You guys are gonna get a sense of how bad this place was. This may very well be the worst flip I have ever seen in my entire career. There is nothing right about this deck or roof at all. The deck is slanting toward the home. It's arching here. But on this slide, side, the whole deck is sloping toward the home that direction. There is no support column touching the ground here. It's just a deck plank. We've got rotted wall structure as a result of no deck ledger flashing. Inadequate wall penetration for the electrical. 20 pound propane tank going into the wall. Extension cord wired into Romex. Inadequate rafter attachment, no joist hangers or rafter hangers at all. Improper construction here. You'll see they got this block and then this header is just nailed right to the block. Good taste in motorcycle. We'll just say that's a big bunch of nope. There is no rake edge flashing along there. I walk around the back to a brand new deck that's being built completely improperly. Right here we've got this new deck. These support posts aren't even touching the pier blocks. It gets worse. That's a big bunch of no. Get to the wood burning stove on the inside of the house and they've got inadequate clearance to combustibles. They've got the wrong kind of you know vent. The chimney pipe is improper. There's no wall thimble. They've got a metal pipe shoved through the wall. It's literally burning the wall. The wall was smoking while I was in the house. It matters worse. This chimney pipe was melting the siding on the outside of the house. The entire inside of this home is full of smoke right now. This place is gonna burn down. That is a big bunch of dope. Dear Lord, this is the TPR safety valve.